today is one of those days that one is extra proud being a Nigerian. It's one of those days when your belief is affirmed that this is a country of world-class talent, world-class ideas, and world-class execution. So we're here at the Duchess International Hospital by both medical and aesthetic standards comparable to the best hospitals in the world. And its proprietors proudly and deservedly brag, and I quote, that the mission of the hospital is to reverse medical tourism by delivering the highest standards of care using the most advanced technology and treatments to give you the fastest, most convenient access to the best medical expertise available anywhere in the world, end of quote. And I concur. And I'm sure we all concur. There is, there's good reason to do so. The hospital has serious bragging rights. It comes from the Reddington family, a clinical health brand that has earned a strong reputation for high standards in healthcare, top-notch international personnel, and many highly reputed Nigerian doctors in diaspora. And best of all, it's all Nigeria. So the opening of this state-of-the-art facility also celebrates some other facts. First is that we have all that it takes to become the place of choice for even medical tourists from developed countries looking to jump long queues for specialized procedures at home or simply shopping for more affordable fees for first-class healthcare. Second, we have by far the largest number of middle to low-income communities and individuals in sub-Saharan Africa at least who require affordable, high-quality healthcare. So there is a sound business case here. In any event, this is the 15th facility of the Regenting Group. So there must be some business sense in all of this. And in any event, the chairman, Yemi Onobowale, is an Ijeb woman. So, <laughs> so, so if, this, if, this didn't, if this didn't make sense, he certainly wouldn't be here. He'll be doing something else, trust me. Third is that with investments like this, seeking high quality medical personnel, we can even reverse the trend of doctors voting with their feet. And we've seen that indeed several doctors who are, are part of this uh, the management of this facility are coming from different parts of the world. The reasons for voting with their feet are obvious. Better remuneration, better facilities. But again, only serious private sector investment in high quality healthcare services, offering top compensation for its personnel, could possibly create an attractive proposition to reverse the trend. So the only way by which we can ensure that people stay, obviously, is to reward their services. And I think that this is a good way to start. So here at Duchess, we celebrate the convergence of so many possibilities and such great promise. And I'm extremely proud to be a part of this phenomenal achievement and the great future that it portends not just for healthcare services in Nigeria, but also for the general business environment. If you can believe enough in, in our economy to invest in 15 different places, then certainly you must be doing something right, and there must be something right about the economy also. By the way, just looking at the ambience of the hotel, the well-appointed rooms, all and sweet, and especially the cuisine. I, I saw what looked like a well-marinated lobster <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with lemon butter sauce, you know. Uh, this surely should be called the Duchess, definitely should be called the Duchess. I only hope you don't get people checking in before realizing that this is actually a hospital <laughs> and not a hotel. So it is really my very great pleasure and privilege to officially commission the Duchess International Hospital to the glory of God and for the benefit of all Nigerians and those who may seek excellent health care from anywhere else in the world. God bless you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs>